Hello guys. Hello guys. It's my pleasure to welcome you to my channel. My name is Rafi Yakub. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And uh, if you are the first time watching my video on YouTube, consider to subscribe to this channel for more interesting tutorial in Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, and a Photoshop. And guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily master paint tools. Most especially if you are new to Corel Draw, you may find it difficult to use paint tools and uh, some other tools. But in this video, I will, uh, I'm going to walk you through every step to, to take to achieve your actual type of curve you are looking for using Corel Draw paint tool. So let's get to the practical starting. So the first thing you have to do when you open up your Corel Draw, just like what you see on the screen right here, so you have to go to your tools bar and uh, look for your pen tools. Now, having selected your pen tools, there are many ways by which you can use these pen tools to make a curve. So the first way I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to show you is, is, a, is a very basic one. So you'll be able to understand. So the first thing you have to do is to, you can start from the point like this. Then you press that shift key and uh, take it to the edge of the shape of the border then click once now you notice that when you click once to make a perfect stroke your pen tool still continue to make some drawing right but for you to make a, a stoppage of this continuation of pen tools all you have to do is to press that control key then you click once so when you click once you're going to have your perfect straight line right now the next thing we have, i'm going to do now is to go to my tools bar and select my pick tools now when you select your pick tools you not you can you can pick on the shape now you you have a straight uh perfect straight line now this perfect straight line is what i'm going to convert to curve now how do we do that so the next thing you have to do is to go back to your tools bar here and then uh, you look for shape tools when you select shape tools and you you will see the 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 straight line has been changed to uh another thing we have a front arrow key and a back arrow has been added to the stroke this simply means that we are trying to perform some stuff now for you to add a curve all you have to do is to click once right when you click once you try to add a note then you right click when you right click then you select the curve now when you when you select the curve you notice that we still have some node we have some node to this shape so all you have to do is that you this is depends on how you want your curve to to blend right so you can decide to take this down like this or take it to the top like this and decide to take this top like this and then uh, you can decide to take this uh like this you can decide to make it more curve like this all right now if you're satisfied with this shape then press your space bar key on your keyboard so to return to pick two so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my tools bar right here and i will double click the rectangle to create a page border right now i'll go back to my move tool now select my pick tools i will select my pick tools i'll go back to my curve then i'll press shift key on my keyboard and drag out why do we have to do this is that we need to make sure that every point from the top of the of the shape to the bottom um, uh, to the body of the shape we make sure that this uh this this part this curve part move outside the page border so that by the time we are trying to make use of our uh smart fill we will not have any issue right now i'm going to fill that place right here so i will have to come to my tools bar here and look for my smart fill so i have my smart fill tools here then i will pick once then uh I can now select the shape and press the delete key on my keyboard. Now, this one here 
we can change the color to whatsoever color we want let's say i'm filling this with red right this is very cool right now another way by which you can use your pen tools to make some curve is that you can you can come down here when you select your pen tools click once like this then you see it move and uh, you can you can start uh you can make it a straight then you press that control you press that normal click down when you press normal click down then you drag it depends on where you want your curve to move right then you can continue drag this way that drag to the bottom then continue drag like this and uh like this and i'm pressing control key down to cut all right so this is another way by which you can make some part then another way you can do this is that you can uh let's say we want to draw another curve uh to make some curve like this and uh, like this and like this and like this like this you just have to work with your normal click down and uh, drag then like this then you can close the node right here and uh, you have another another uh, nice curve right here so now another way by which you can do this tall this curve of 18 is that you can select from the hedge make it straight down like this then press that control key to cut then you can go back to your shape tools then right click the node then select to curve and you can just make some bench just make some curve like this and uh, this one here we can fill it with another color of our choice if you like so now let me give you another quick uh example let's say we select another pen tool right here so we start from here we press shift key down and uh, to make a stroke like this and we click once then we press that control key to cut now we have a perfect uh perfect stroke right then one other thing we can do here is that we can come to the home tab here we can add arrow key and uh, you see when you had arrow then you can come here and increase the width so that you you will see the arrow now you can see right here so we had arrow to this then we can stick we can come to this uh backward arrow and uh, we can add uh, this type of arrow there so you can see you can come here and increase the width let's see 25 so you can see so Another way by which you can use pen tools to make some curve is, uh, let's say we have we select our pen tools like this, and uh, we try to make some uh, straight curve like this, straight stroke. Then control key down and cut. Now this one here, I'm going to take it to another side, right? And uh, I'm going to resize it. I'm taking it right here. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go back to my shape tools then i will add some notes i'll come here i'll come to direct uh, to the stroke i will right click and i will choose convert to curve right then i can take this one like this i can take this one like this then right click again uh okay can choose a uh, smooth so continue to drag now let's say for instance you have not satisfied with the kind of curve you try to achieve so you can click it back and you are looking for the part then you go back to shape tools just drag all over like this they will come up you can see so something like this so guys this is how you master pen tools using corel draw whether you are a beginner or you advanced i believe so much you will learn one or two things in this video if you like this video please click like button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video like this in corel draw and adobe photoshop and adobe illustrator thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end i hope to see you guys in my next video see you soon